Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to use company consolidation in Business Central to consolidate the financial data of two or more companies together. First what we need to do is create a new company. Here I have created a company by the name of Consolidated Demo. Then we have to create the chart of accounts of the Consolidated Demo company. And then we will have to create the business units. Business units are basically the companies that we have to include in the consolidation process. Here I have taken two companies. Here on the business unit card, we have to add the details. First we have to enter the code. Then we have to select the company. The consolidate check mark here specifies whether we want to include this company in the consolidation process or not. And then we have the consolidation percentage option. If we own part of the company, we can specify the percentage of that company that we own. And this system will calculate according to that percentage. For example, if we enter 50% here in this field, it means that we only want to include 50% of the total amounts in the consolidation process. Here, in the starting date and ending date options, we can specify the period of the financial year that the business unit uses. This is the basic setup that we have to do in the consolidated company. We have to do the same for every business unit that we are going to include in consolidation. We can add two or more companies in the consolidation process. Then we have to go to the business units and go to the chart of accounts. Select one of the GL accounts. Now we have to transfer this amount to the consolidated company. And to do that, we have to open the GL account card. Scroll down to the consolidation fast tab and map this 11,001 GL account to one of the accounts in the consolidated company. Here we have mapped this 11,001 account to the checking account 10,100 of the consolidated company. We have to map every GL account of the business units to the GL accounts in the consolidated company. We can do that manually one by one, or we can export the chart of account file and then map the accounts and import them back using the package option. We have to do the same for all the companies that we have included in the consolidation process. We have done it for both the companies here, like this. You can see I have mapped the accounts in both the companies. Then, after mapping these accounts, what we have to do is go back to the consolidated company and search for business units. Here we can test the database. Go to Actions Functions and click on the Test Database option. Enter the starting date and ending date. We will do this for the financial year 2020. And then click on Review. This report would show all the errors if we missed the mapped account. Here it is showing these errors because I have not mapped all the accounts. But you have to map all the accounts in the live environment. Then if we don't have any errors, we can go ahead and run the consolidation process. Click on the Run Consolidation option. Enter the dates again and give it a document number. And then click on OK. Then we can go back to the chart of accounts to view the combined amounts from the companies. Here we can click on the amount and see details of the amounts that were included. We can also view the trial balance for the consolidated company here. Search for business units again. Go to related. Click on reports and then select trial balance. Enter the dates again and then click on preview. Here it will show the amounts of both the subsidiary companies and also the combined amount in the consolidated company. So that is how you use company consolidation in Business Central. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Please do like and share the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.